What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied, home and product reviews. I just want to let y'all know that I am a Costco member now. So expect more Costco products. I got my bug zapper. I am on a bug zapper hunt right now. I got the one that's in the light fixture out here. It's okay, but when they say don't put it in an enclosed area, believe them. I will get back to that review later. But right here we have a insect killer torch. This is solar power. Now, if you have been following this channel ever since the beginning, you know I love solar. Solar. You know I love solar. If someone asks me, do I have solar panels on top of my house? No, I don't have it on top of my house. I will get to that later. This was at Costco for $50. Now, for 50 bucks, you get two. So $25 each, uh, I'll take that. Woo, 600 volts of power. So if they touch it, they definitely getting zapped. It says six hours per charge. So if you leave this out in the sun, it should last you about six hours at night. Hopefully we will test that out. Right now it's about three o'clock in the evening. So we might not get that much charge. It says weatherproof. It should be weatherproof, right? Because this is going to be an outdoor product. It says right here, no open flames. So you don't have to worry about burning yourself. And for the moment y'all been waiting for, let's go ahead and open the box. All right, we have the extensions. This must be the base, base. All the extensions are right here. Let's go ahead and let these things get some sun. Charge in direct sun. We have the extensions here. These are plastic, if you wanna know. It's probably the reason why it's cheap. Right here you have the steak. Goes right on in, slides out. Right here, this is your, it's a connector. So that's how you connect this stuff. So I just did one, and that would be two. Give me a second, I gotta put these in the sun. Right now we have them on the base. If you want it in the field, let's say you're doing a cookout, you wanted to set this next to your pool party or set it next to your tent to keep the bugs away, I'm gonna give you the height. So we have the flame zapper. Right here is a button. So this may be the on and off button for it. I don't know yet, I will let you know in a little bit. Okay, so this is a tray right here basically where the dead bugs will probably lie at. So it says right here, electric shock wrist. Do not touch the electric net. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'll catch y'all when the sun goes down. Okay, you guys, we are out here with the torches. It is almost eight o'clock. It's actually 7.55 right now. And the torches is still not on. You can hit the button and it still don't come on. The only way for it to come on right now is if I put my hand all the way on the solar pitch black, it comes on. You have the flame and you have the bug zapper right there. If I hit the button again, it turns off. So you can turn this on and off at will. I'm gonna turn it back on, take my hand off. And like I said, it is eight o'clock. All right, you guys, so it came on at 8.40 on the dot. Let me see, can you turn the flames on and just leave the zapper? No, right here is your safety guard so you don't touch the voltage and get a little electric shock. I'm gonna let this sit for like a week. So we're gonna see how many bugs we can catch during the middle of the week. It's been a whole week since I uh, touched this thing. I left it out. Now I'd already probably plugged in the video but as you know this thing stayed on all the way until like I think it was for me it was like six in the morning or five in the morning so if y'all are late night partiers this will be good for you because this stayed on all morning through the night to the morning let's check out our bug collection hopefully there's no live bugs in here all right no bugs dropped in the tray well one little bug but we do have a lot of bugs in here and we definitely let me bring this one over and we definitely got a lot of bugs in here 
Now, you may ask me, how do you get the bugs out of there? And to be honest, the now the bug is in my face. <laughs> and to be honest, um, uh, the only way to get the bugs out of here is to unscrew the gate, the cage. This is a Phillip head to unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. Most of what I see is moths. So you're not getting no real, really big bugs. Let's check this tray out. And basically one moth again. So most of the bugs are getting trapped on the inside. So my final thoughts on this bug zapper is it's cool. It's all right. But what I see, I'm just getting moths and little bugs on this thing. And yeah, that's about it. I like it. It's pretty cool. The light effect is awesome. The flames. Now, if you just want the flames, it's not happening. There's no button here just to have flames. So if you just wanted the flames only, it don't work like that. So the bug zapper stays on with the light. It shouldn't matter because you're gonna have this out in the field anyway. I hope you like it. If not, then it is what it is. I don't get commission off of this anyway. So just doing a review. Okay, you guys, so that's the end of that. I do like it. It's pretty cool. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave it in the comment section and I'll get back with y'all on the next video.